Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be going over uh, the pro player camera settings. So uh, after DreamHack we had the camera settings come out. We got every pro player that was there, got the camera settings, and we're going to be able to figure out which ones we all like the most and what, you know, what may be the difference in game changing camera settings you might find in here. They're all pretty similar for the most part. Uh, we're going to go over each one and just see uh, what you guys think about them and tell me what your guys' settings are that you use. Uh, these settings are as of about two weeks ago when DreamHack uh, took place. However, you know, they, they could have changed and updated by the time you watch this video. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, these guys won't keep the same settings forever, so they always switch them around and they're never always the same settings. So, you guys... Uh, Hope you guys like the video. Uh, we're gonna get looking at some of these settings and we're gonna give you guys some of the, you know, the views as well, the camera settings. We're gonna bring them into uh, free play and we're gonna just run around with them. Just smack the ball around with each setting and you know, see how they go. Obviously not all of them as there are about you know, 30 or so, probably more than 30 uh, camera settings here, but they're all pretty similar. So we'll try to go with uh, some unique camera settings. I know some of them, you know, they're running Batmobile, they're running Dominus or they're running Octane. All right, so now that we're looking at the Excel sheet, by the way, this Excel sheet is on Google Docs, and I will be putting this in the description of the video so you guys can take a look for yourself. Uh, it's got all the pro players you guys love, um, and I'll scroll through just slowly real quick so you guys can get a good moment where you can pause the video and just copy them down real quick if you guys see a pro player that you love. Uh, we'll go through real quick and just see uh, all of these camera settings you get the average median and you know the mode down here it's actually kind of interesting to see what the average settings are and stuff like that so and also the very bottom we may make a video in the future about what car is used and you know stuff like that obviously there's only one breakout and that was Jazer and I mean obviously he was there to kind of freestyle and mess around for the most part I don't think he took it too seriously so that's the one breakout everyone else is always the Octane Dominus or Batmobile. Batmobile has a little bit less than usual I feel like uh, you know, Scrub Killer didn't go Batmobile this time around, and um, so I know I know uh, Batmobile is becoming a little bit less popular in threes. So, uh, but let's go look at the camera settings. Um, let's go into game now and just check it out. All right, now here we are with uh, NRG Esports Justin, uh, fan favorite uh, for NRG. Now, these are his camera settings, and we're going to be taking a look in game. Um, Let's just go down real quick. Field of view is how much you can see. Controls the size of your field of vision. Increasing this may reduce motion sickness. Uh, I'm just reading you guys the descriptions real quick of all of them. Uh, the distance controls how far your camera is behind your car. Uh, so like, you know, usually the closer you are to your car, you're actually the more accurate your touches will be. But obviously the less of the field you can see as well. Kind of like um, zooming in on your car. Uh, then we got height. Controls how high your camera is positioned above your car. Uh, we have angle controls the default angle at which your camera points towards your car stiffness controls how rigidly your camera follows your car swivel speed controls the speed at which your camera can swivel around your car transition speed controls the speed of transitions between car and ball camera modes uh, and then we have invert swivel which i believe no pros use um i don't i don't see a reason for any pro to use that unless they somehow got used to it originally uh, but, alright, so these are the s camera settings for NRG Justin. I mean, at the beginning of the video, you can see the camera settings that I play with. Uh, I use a lot higher distance than a lot of these pros, which is probably why I suck and I am inaccurate, right? It's not my actual gameplay, you know, the camera settings. Always good to blame it a little bit on the camera settings. Something to blame it on. Uh, so, yeah, these are... The settings that Justin has right now um, pretty nice actually because you are pretty close to the ball and it allows you to you know see exactly where you're hitting the ball obviously you're gonna be able to see it anywhere but I mean I, I kind of like it and I like how uh, the angle as you kind of low to the ground um, so you can actually kind of see around you and when you're dribbling it just kind of makes more sense to me especially like it uh, when you take off ball cam guys look at this when you take ball cam off it kind of just feel closer to the car so when I'm doing off ball cam um, you know touches off the wall or anything it just seems kind of a bit easier so 
that is nice about being okay well there I I just straight up missed but it does seem kind of nice you know being that close to the, to the ball um, to the car when you're hitting the ball you can see what kind of angle you're getting uh, so yeah this is NRG Justin's let's switch over to um, team solo mid we'll go to I ignite here as he is a nether octane player now I did say we were gonna do TSM's I ignite but his settings were so similar to uh, NRG's Justin that there was really just no point um, I'm showing you guys that so I did go to squishies and these are squishies uh, camera settings I know he's a fan favorite as well for uh, cloud nine so this is squishy muffins camera settings for uh, dreamhack um, 2019 so let's just see what these are in free to play real quick uh, it's pretty similar yet again I mean all these pro settings are gonna be somewhat similar uh, the field of view sitting at 110 um, which is very common thing for all pro players. I mean, you want to see most of the field. I mean, why wouldn't you want to see most of the field? You got the height at 90, which another is a little bit different there. Um, I mean, you can't. I'm trying to figure out if you can see around the ball here. It's like you do have to kind of, you know, camera your or change your camera angle uh, manually here when you're dribbling. I feel like that's going to be the case with most pro players, as dribbling's not like a major feature um, in threes. So when you are playing, you're gonna have to uh, swivel up and swivel down. His cam, his swivel speed by fact uh, is actually a lot faster than a lot of the other pro players. Um, so it does seem like he he kind of just jerks it around. If you ever watch his stream as well. Um, but yeah, these are squishy muffins. Camera angle or camera settings. Um, kind of. I mean, you're kind of close to the ball in this as well the kind of same situation you had with Justin uh, I know these are both octane players um, so we will probably switch to a dominus player here uh, so you can see what a dominus player settings look like compared to an octane I don't know how different they'll be we'll have to take a look at that I didn't look at beforehand um, we'll try to grab a dominus player that can kind of speak for all dominus players in the pro settings so we'll get someone kind of in the middle um, or a fan favorite as well so these are Squishy Muffins camera settings. Now we're gonna take a look at the Dominus Pro Player setting. And now we're gonna be looking at Turbo Pulses from Team Dignitas. We're gonna be looking at his settings on the Dominus uh, from Dreamhack 2019. And his are pretty similar to the Octanes. Um, he's actually, in fact, 10 degrees closer to his car than Squishy was and the other Octanes at 270. He's at 260. Um, and his height is actually quite a bit different. At, he sits at 110 instead of the 90. Um, so, I mean, I do like these settings. Actually, probably the most so far. Um, I'm not sure why, what makes me even say that, to be honest. They just kind of seem right. So if you're playing a uh, Dominus player, uh, tell me what kind of settings you guys use. Because this kind of seems right for me. Um, I mean, you, you seem like you're close enough, but far away enough same time I'm not really sure how that pans out but uh, it definitely does seem messed around up for a little bit there and it kind of it seems about right for playing Dominus I usually play on the octane as you guys know so as I missed that uh, I usually play on the octane so when I'm going off the wall and things like that of that nature I'm not used to you know having to jump on some of these things and it's kind of Kind of nice. Uh, so we'll switch over to now a Batmobile settings and just see what those look like compared to the Dominus and compared to the Octane from uh, Squishy Justin and Turbo Pulse. We are now looking at Fairy Peaks camera settings. Uh, Team Renault Vitality uh, for DreamHack 2019. And I mean, it just seems wrong. I, I feel like I'm on the ground, low to the ground. I don't know if this is how all Batmobiles play, but it just seems really awkward. Uh, let's take a look at them real quick for you guys. Uh, here, uh, yeah. So his field of view is at 110, his distance 260, his height 100, angle is a negative four. And the crazy part about his settings is his swivel speed is a solid max swivel speed. 
So when he's dribbling, when he's looking, he just he does a quick, get a look. He does a quick swivel, see what's over the ball, and he drops it down. I don't know if you guys have ever watched some of Fairy Peaks gameplay, but when he's, when he's dribbling or has a chance to dribble, watching his swivel is actually something kind of fun to do as he'll swivel real quick and he'll get a view of the opponent. So all these other guys don't have that kind of swivel speed on their car. Um, I don't think that's a Batmobile thing. I think that's more of a fairy peak preference, but a lot of this probably is just the pro, pro, pro player preference and not really anything to do with the car. Um, yeah, this is the Batmobile settings uh, for fairy peak on Team Renault Vitality. I uh, hope you guys liked this video today. Uh, we're going over some of the pro camera settings uh, at DreamHack 2019. And we're going to come out with another video coming out this weekend, I believe. So stick around. Might be talking about the cars that they used in DreamHack. As I think a lot of people are trying to figure out why the Batmobile is kind of getting straight away from. And what's the reasoning behind that. And why are we starting to see just plain octane again. And I know there is a decent amount of Dominus out there. But there's really no other car. Obviously, Jazer brought the breakout for a little random fun. But... You know, there's no other competitive car than the, really the breakout, uh, or not the breakout, the Dominus and the Octane. And Fair Peak's able to pull off the Batmobile, but it doesn't seem like, you know, Scrub was able to do so, or anybody else was really able to make the Batmobile more worthwhile than the Octane. So we're going to take a look at why they keep choosing the same car over and over, what makes the Octane so overpowered and so dominant in Rocket League right now, and why haven't anybody found the reason to switch yet. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. See you next time. This is Graphic with a pro camera settings video.